uh, have any control over and they don't inhibit those. One of those is the norovirus. Now, if your hand sanitizer doesn't contain alcohol, then it's likely to contain triclosan, which is a powerful antibacterial agent and often used in making pesticides. It is readily absorbed by the skin, which can directly impact thyroid function and can cause damage to the liver and muscles. Another thing, have you ever thought, uh, a lot of us, especially now, immediately reach out for a hand sanitizer, use it and then start eating something. Have you thought the kind of chemicals that you're consuming? Well, there are a lot of chemicals in hand sanitizers and frequently consuming hand sanitizers because you don't wash your hands, you use a hand sanitizer instead and then you use your hands to eat food. You're ingesting the hand sanitizer. Well, it can be very harmful for your immunity, counterproductive, especially for very young children. If kids constantly consume this product, then first it can lead to alcohol poisoning and secondly, it can lower their immunity to such a level that the body's defense mechanism is in a constant fighting mode which leads to weakened immunity. This can cause serious side effects when they grow older as well. These adults have a weak immune system and will be more vulnerable to diseases. Moreover, if your hand sanitizer is scented, that means it's loaded with toxins and chemicals. Synthetic fragrances contain patholates, which are endocrine disruptors that mimic hormone and could alter genital development. So hand sanitizers don't just have these uh, medical risks, but also certain physical impact as well if you use them. As we told you that sanitizers contain alcohol, which make it highly flammable. So if putting alcohol on your hands, you go near any fire, it can cause some serious burns. One such incident had happened in Rivari, where a person had suffered 35% burns because he was in close proximity to a kitchen stove while using hand sanitizer on his clothes. There is a video that is circulating that seems to suggest a car in Delhi caught fire because a hand sanitizer kept in the car actually burst, leading to the car catching fire. Well, that's not a fact, it's untrue. However, if your sanitizer or hand sanitizer that is kept in the car is a big bottle, it's not airtight and is leaking, then vapors can keep accumulating in the car, making the car a small gas chamber. So all it possibly needs to start a fire is maybe a small spark somewhere and these gases could then lead to a small fire within the car. So that's a fact, but no, hand sanitizers don't just burst into flames. A lot of you out there thinking that the best way to actually clean your masks that you're using is to dip them into sanitizer and clean them with uh, your little bottle of hand sanitizer. Don't do that because the vapors are then trapped in cloth and when you wear your mask after attempting to clean the mask, uh, the fumes would possibly cause uh, nausea or even could lead to possible vomiting. So here is how you can prevent yourself. Wash your hands using soap and water. Keep the sanitizer away from children. Keep hand sanitizers stored in bottles in a cool and dry place. Keep it in a safe distance from the kitchen and never apply it before you're going to cook or even eat. Clean your mask with regular soap and water. So ultimately, yes, Hand sanitizers at this point of time could be an essential commodity if you don't have water and soap with an easy access. Because if you do, that should be your first priority. Wash your hands with soap before you use a hand sanitizer.